Omnichannel Routing and Zendesk. Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Thank you for showing up. This video has been long overdue. I have been waiting for this video to take shape because Zendesk has been releasing features to this and I wanted to bring you a full format because obviously I'd have to do this again whenever new features come up. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominic. I'm a Zendesk consultant. I'm in my decade of experience now and I like what I do. And whenever I learn something new, I come here, I create a video and I try to bring you value. Now, before we begin, I like to say that it's working, so out of 7%, uh, there's now 10.1% of you who are following, so there's uh, almost 90% of you who are not subscribed. So, guys, can we make it to 11%? Come on, guys. If you like this uh, video, uh, please consider subscribing because it helps the channel a lot and helps me a lot. So, if this video gets one like, I will cut my hair. So let's see how this does. Like with every video, there are 57 things at least, which I forget to mention. So let's see how this one turns out. So I'm going to split this one into five parts because it's a big and it's a lot of ground to cover. So fasten your seat belts and let's go. So number one is prep work. You have to be sure to make some prep work in order to make omnichannel routing work. Let's first just talk about what is omnichannel routing. So omnichannel routing is a new feature from Zendesk, which as the name suggests, it helps all your channels to be distributed equally amongst your agents. So this is a more democratic and fair way to distribute workload across your team in order to make sure that everyone receives a fair number of tickets so that your agents are distributed in a round robin and nice way. Part of the prep work is to activate agent workspace number one and messaging number two. Let's break this down. So agent workspace is a new experience from Zendesk that keeps everything under one roof. So your agents are logged into Zendesk support. Your agents can handle phone, they can handle email, chats and uh, API and uh, social media, all the channels into one interface in the Zendesk support. That is agent workspace and it comes with a bunch of uh, features which I'm not going to cover now because that's not the point of this video. Then you have to activate the messaging feature. Zendesk messaging is a feature under the agent workspace umbrella which allows you to use the new functionality from Zendesk with chatbots and bots for that matter in your social media channels and in chat, so it leverages a bunch of functionality all within the agent workspace environment. So let's go, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you the prep work. So I'm in my Zendesk test account, I'm going to go to admin center, then I go to workspaces, I go to agent workspace, turn on agent workspace, save this. Now remember to refresh, so I'm going to refresh my screen and now I have to update messaging. So I'm going to go to channels, I don't have messaging yet, so I have to refresh again. Let's go to channels again and here it is, messaging and then I turn on, I go to manage settings and I turn on messaging for my account. Then it asks me who turn on messaging for what brands and I'm going to do this one because this is where I keep uh, an example that we will be testing. Now let's go to objects and rules and go to omnichannel configuration here. Now part of the prep work is to talk about what omnichannel routing is based on what you'll find in Zeta. So let's go. So you go to objects and rules and then in omnichannel routing you'll have routing configuration which is going to be our next topic. So I'm not going to dive into it. You have capacity rules. So what this means is you can define capacity for your agents. I'm just going to edit this one so you can see. I gave it a name and then I chose some assignees and and then I gave capacity for my different channels. So I gave five tickets that are email, and then I gave one ticket for messaging and one for talk. So one for messaging, which is social media and chat, and then the other one is another one for talk. This is just for how I did it in my instance. Now next one is agent statuses. I have these ones default by Zendesk, created by Zendesk all online, away, transport only, and offline. You can create new ones if you want. That's up to you. I'm not going to get into that, but you'll see how they work based on our example. And then I have uh, idle timeout. This means that uh, your agents are going to be set to idle and conversations are going to be transferred to somebody else. I'm not going to turn it on just now. I'm going to discuss it a little bit later. Step number two is going to be routing configuration. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on omnichannel routing and I have a checkbox in here. This works out of the box with Zendesk Talk, so the phone feature, and messaging. So this works by default 
default, as I mentioned again, with messaging and then just talk. So by default, depending on the group, your agents get capacity for talk and messaging. Uh, if you want to use it in a synchronous way, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway, you have to add a tag. So if you want to use it for email channel as well, if you want to use it for API and web form, you have to add a tag. So in my case, I'm going to create a tag. So omni channel routing. So I'll just name it like this. Uh, and I'm going to save this. Now, don't worry about this. We will go over these things uh, one by one. So I turned it on and I have uh, added my tag. That's perfect. So adding the tag means you'll be able to use all the channels with omnichannel routing. So by default, again, you have talk and you have messaging. Now we will also add other channels. We will add email, web form and API along this with that tag that we just added, omnichannel routing. You can add another tag if you want. Now let's go through the omnichannel configuration and what it means. So initially here I have skill based routing, which in itself is a topic for another video. But just to quickly refresh your memory, skill based routing is uh, you giving your agent skills like, for example, language skills or, for example, uh, somebody's technical, somebody's generalist, somebody is billing, etc. And that's how you define skills for agents and you route tickets to them according to these skills. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on skill based routing two and uh, I'm going to uh, turn on skills timeout. So look for email I have after one hour. So this means that if I have an agent who has German skill, for example, and uh, they have one ticket assigned to them and it's been more than one hour since they haven't been handling it, then you should assign it to someone else. In messaging, it's 30 seconds. And then in talk, 30 seconds as well. These are good metrics. I recommend maybe 20 seconds, to be honest. I like that more to be more proactive. I know this puts a bit more pressure, but it takes you a long way. So the only thing which I know, this is an exception, like eh, big, big exception exception. There's a small bug, meaning that with talk. So if your agent has, for example, German skill, and uh, for some reason, you know, this agent with German skill is at full capacity, the system detects somebody calling from a German number and they detect, okay, this is meant to go to this agent who has German skills. If nobody else is around with a German skill, then it just sits there until somebody else does something. So until somebody else updates a ticket, the system says, ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. So there's somebody else here. Let's give it to, I don't know, to somebody else who is here, who doesn't have that skill. This is a bit of a small, error, if you will, or bug, Zendesk knows about it, they will fix it, it's fine. I'm just, you know, uh, being in the trenches, you get shot at, so you, you know, kind of get experience. This is, yeah, what you get from in-depth, in the trenches experience. I'm going to turn on messaging activity routing. Okay, so what is messaging activity routing? This means that if tickets are being created in offline hours, meaning during the nighttime or during the weekend, you know, let's say 100 people write during the weekend and then uh, I go in as an agent and I logged in on Monday first thing, all those 100 tickets get assigned to me if I don't have this turned on. That's not very good, right? It's going to just automatically boom, dump a bunch of tickets on me uh, to solve or to, you know, to figure out, which is not cool. It's not nice. If you turn this on, this will treat these uh, inactive uh, tickets. It will treat them exactly as it would as an active ticket, meaning it will just assign them democratically to everyone in the team who is online and who has capacity, etc. which is a very nice and very fair way to, to handle tickets, even if they're from offline hours. So I like this very much. Keep in mind and maybe turn it on. Okay, let's keep going. So reassignment timing. So this is for 30 seconds. So nobody's on for 30 seconds or more just assigning somebody else turn on reassignment for uh, reopened tickets that are new okay so for email I won't do this but for messaging what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to turn this off and delete these so reassignment for a reopen ticket. So if a ticket is being reopened and the email channel is fine because this is not a live channel, so it's not that bad. But for messaging, I want to assign tickets. So tickets that are being reopened to assign them to somebody new. For example, if I'm an agent and I have a ticket assigned to me and you know the conversation is over, a customer says, yeah, that's fine. But then they decide, you know, five hours later when I'm home and I finish my work day, the customer decides, you know what, actually this is not done. Um, um, so what they do is they continue the conversation and I'm going to be offline at that time. So I want a new agent to get this ticket. I don't want the ticket to just, to, you know, the customer to become frustrated like, hey, I waited for you. No, automatically when this gets reopened, it gets assigned to somebody new. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select when I'm offline and when I'm away, 
I want this ticket to be reassigned if it's reopened, and I like that. I'm going to save this. Now the last bit in this configuration is going to be idle timeout. So I'm going to go to idle timeout. I'm going to turn it on, save. So now it asks me like, how long should an agent be idle until the ticket is being uh, assigned to somebody else? I say 10 minutes. If they've been away for longer than 10 uh, minutes, just put them offline. I like that, I'm going to turn it on. Now, topic number three is setup. You're going to see that I have created here an omni-channel routing tag. What this means, again, is if I have tickets that are not part of talk and messaging, who this omni-channel routing applies to directly, automatically, out of the box, I want to use email, web form, and something else. Now, omni-channel routing works with groups. So if your agents are part of a group or department, then everybody has tickets assigned to them. So what we need to do is to create a trigger to assign tickets to a group. Objects and rules, go to triggers, add a trigger. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create a trigger to assign all the tickets that come into the system to one general group, support group. That's the example that I have now and I want to create for this particular video. Assign tickets to support group if tickets have no group assigned. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to give it a description. I'm going to say ticket group is blank and I'm going to do group is, I'm going to say support, create. I forgot to add a category. Just let me put it in assign triggers because I'm assigning it to groups. Okay, this is number one. Now I'm going to add another trigger and I'm going to look for that tag. So the purpose of this trigger is to look for tickets that don't have omni-channel routing tag and add that tag for the channels that I want to use. <laughs> Let me show you what that means. Okay, I'm going to call it add omni-channel routing tag to tickets, ticket channels, email, web form, and API. I'm going to choose a category. I'm going to say assign triggers. I'm going to say if ticket is created, tag. Ticket tag contains none of the following. Omni-channel routing, let me copy this. Does not contain this. And then any conditions any condition so if channel is web form and then channel is is email and then channel is api web service api then set tags omnichannel routing all right create okay good i have created my triggers we interrupt this program to give you a word from our sponsor, which is roca.work. If you want to borrow somebody else's 10,000 hours of using Zendesk and having done over 300 projects from a Zendesk Premier partner, then hop on to this link, roca.work slash offers. Any service that you need with Zendesk, how that would look like for you as a ballpark from an expert, somebody that's been doing this for decades. Once you hop on the website, on the offer page, we'll ask you how many agents you have and what kind of service you need, and we'll give you a ballpark and what that looks like. If that interests you, then we'll ask for more information and you'll be able to get an official offer from me. And uh, yeah, we can take the discussion from there. Now with any of our implementations, because we have so much experience, we'll be able to leverage all Zenus functionality. You'll be able to look at the right reports. You'll be able to uh, make sure that you're using Zenus with maximum capacity, get management off your back. You'll be able to have a productive team and you'll be able to have fast responses. You'll be able to to get back to your customers faster, which increases your customer satisfaction. And you make sure that Zenus doesn't crash when you change something. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side in roca.work slash offers. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Bye. Now comes the fourth part. It's testing the omni-channel routing. I'm going to go to my Zendus support and I'm going to set myself as a way. I'm going to try to see uh, what happens if I submit a ticket from email channel, for example, and it's going to come in. And if I click it, then it's supposed to be assigned to me because Omnichannel Routing saw that from away, I came to online and I have capacity and it's going to assign it to me. So let's do it. Now I open my email and I go from this email and I send it to this support email. Let's see, testing if email is being assigned to Dominic when he comes comes online. Okay, so I have sent the email. I'm going to go to my tickets. And if I go to my tickets, voila, look at this. It's in here less than a minute ago. It's in my tickets already. And it has been assigned to me because it found me as having capacity. So if I go to support here in my tickets, I see the email assigned to me less than a minute ago. I just sent it. So remember for email, I said uh, I have capacity. 
and here it is. Now for the messaging channel testing. So I created a rule, if you remember, which said that if I switch from away to online, it's going to assign tickets to me automatically. Let's test that out. So let's open a test window with a demo. So I go here, I initiate it. I'm a customer now. So I just say, talk to a human. All right, just give me your name. It's Dominic again. Uh, test at email.com. All right, so, okay, they connect you to a support agent. So what I do now is I'm going to put myself online. Boom, accept. So it's here, right? So if I go to unassigned tickets, here you go. Conversation with Dominic again. It's not assigned to anyone yet. So requester is Dominic again. So I'm going to click it. Now, of course, I accept it. And here it is automatically assigned to me because I had capacity. So let's go to events system via messaging offer to Dominic and then system via messaging assignee Dominic. So it assigned me as having capacity because I turned from away to online. You know what we set up in the configuration earlier? There you go. Okay, now conclusions. Now, Omnichannel routing is a great tool for you to assign workload to agents in a democratic way and a fair way so that you don't necessarily have to rely on third parties like the Round Robin app and uh, other kinds of systems. So you've seen it's not the easiest. There's stuff being added to it all the time. So if you need help, just write in the comments. I'll be there and I'll answer. If you need us an expert to set this up for you, you know who to talk to. And uh, yeah, I hope this brought you value. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. It will help us a lot. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.